All right. All right, it's gonna be a quick and easy video for control users regarding traps. You can place traps, but you can't do it while looking at somebody. You gotta do it around them. Be mindful when somebody's jumping in your box like a madman. You're trying to place a trap, you can prioritize floor loot or interacting before placing trap. You can get by that by changing your trap bind, but that's gonna sacrifice a bind. And it's not as consistent as people say, you're still gonna have issues. You can place traps on roofs, but only if you have a wall in front of it. If there's no wall, that's what's gonna happen. Be mindful of that. And this is going into the grid system, so we're gonna take a look into it real quick. Two tiles away, you can place a trap on the wall, and you could also do it on the floor. And depending on uh, your movement or your location will depend on how the trap is gonna react. And also depending on how where your crosshair is placed. So you gotta be mindful of that when you're placing traps. So if you're doing the chronic thing, trying to place a trap, you gotta go into the box to place a trap. Now, if there's no wall behind it, you can place a trap right where you're standing. Remember that two tile distance thing. And keep note of your crosshair placement because if you look up, the trap's gonna place up. Now, a lot of people, including myself, when they uh, place traps, it's usually when they're panic trapping. So if they put themselves in a bad position or somebody jumps right behind them while they're fighting, they're gonna be like, oh crap, and then place a whole bunch of traps, and then the guy that jumped in third party is gonna look like, bruh. And then break a trap or just shoot you while you're panicking. So we gotta be mindful of that, especially in regards to box fighting, because when you're box fighting, people are gonna be looking at you, and you're gonna try to place that trap, but they're just gonna stare at you like, yo, what the heck are you doing? You freaking control a bot, you're taking forever to place this damn trap, I'm gonna shoot you. They might even jump in your box and just bop you <laughs> so you just gotta be mindful of uh, where they're standing and or, or how they're reacting so if you're gonna do trap plays in the box don't do it through a window while they're staring at you with their gun they're gonna shoot you it's gonna be a free shot and even if you manage to get that trap off without taking damage they could easily just sidestep if they're a competent player and just shoot you so be mindful of that don't do dumb edits when they're looking at you especially if they're on the direction that you're trying to edit so that's a good play but if they're on the right side edit the left side and place a trap and stay behind cover because they got the right hand peak if they're on the left side edit the right side place a trap and now you have the right hand peak so it's hard for them to shoot if you're gonna do the top edit crouch and then place a trap while crouching and you're close to the wall they're still gonna shoot you, but better than nothing, you know? Better than that. <laughs> now, another thing I'd like to add is when you have your um, traps out, you can hold your wall without placing the trap. Just don't accidentally press the trap bind again. This is important for when somebody has like a ramp behind them and they're about to do that mongrel jump or they're trying to face through your wall. You can hold your wall again. But what I would do is I'd place a ramp I could, you could also hold the wall and then try placing the floor below, but if they're gonna do that mongrel jump, I'd place a ramp just to block them, and then try to place a trap above, just like this. So I'd block them, and then place a trap above, and then they're gonna spray and walk in, and then from here, you can do like an edit, and then they'll be all confuzzled and everything, they'll be like, what the heck? Just do a quick edit, so place a trap, quick edit, bam, they get hit, bam, they get hit. But they tend to like phasing through, so what I would do is hold the ramp and go to the side while they're going through. So if they break the ramp, that'll give the trap enough time to phase right through the ramp while you're also protecting yourself. Now, this is something some people might not know, some people do know. But you can edit while having your trap out. And when you have your trap out already, the trap places instantly, just like that. And I have to take my thumbstick off, so it's kind of hard for me to do when I'm pressing trap on. But you can do it pretty quick. And it's consistent. See how fast that was? Much better than editing and then trying to take out the trap and then placing the trap and hoping the trap is going to go and then trying to reset. Just hold your trap out and then edit with the trap now if you guys have any questions or want any other tip videos or maybe i'm just completely ignorant about anything i'm saying let me know thank you for watching